In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to estimate a regression in Excel. And the data I'm going to use as the example is data on softball hitting distances for students in my class. If you see in column A, we have data on distance. The, my students stepped up to the plate, and some of them only hit a softball 57 feet. Some hit them 246 feet. We also have data on a male dummy variable, and this is a variable that equals 1 if the hitter is male, so the first three hitters here are male, and 0 if the hitter is a female, so this fourth hitter here is a female because male dummy variable equals 0. We also have information on the amount of experience they have on a ball team and the year the data were collected, but in this example, we're only going to care about hitting distances in the male dummy variable because what we want to do is estimate a regression like the one here where we predict hitting distance as the as equal in an intercept plus a coefficient times the male dummy variable plus a prediction error now this prediction error we don't know what it is and what we just do is estimate a coefficient alpha zero and a coefficient alpha one to get really good predicted hitting distances such that the sum of the squared errors here would be minimized. And we're going to do that as follows. And so just follow these, follow these steps and you can get the values of alpha 0 and alpha 1. First we're going to go up to the data menu and we're going to go all the way to the right to the data analysis toolbox. Now if data analysis toolbox is not there, please see my tutorial on how to add data analysis. Well for now you must have data analysis. I'm going to click on data analysis and then I'm going to choose regression. After I've chosen regression Excel is going to ask me for a number of things. It's asking me here what is my input Y range? Y is always the data that we are predicting. So I'm going to for my Y variable that's my hitting distance I'm going to select the variable name distance and all the data underneath it. Then I'm going to come back to my dialog box and for input X range, X is always the variables that we are predicting with. In this example, there's only one variable we are using to predict hitting distances, male. So I'm going to first select the variable name male and then all the data underneath it. You need to make sure in regression that when you click date the labels, the variable names, you only click one row and the you only click one row. Like here you would not want to select A1, A2, and then all the data underneath it. You only want to select one variable name, A2, and then all the data underneath it. And also it has to be the case that the variable name is in the row immediately above the first observation of the data. Now go back to the regression dialog box. I'm going to check labels because I did select the variable names as part of the selection. Um, I'm going to leave this here meaning I want the regression output to be in a new worksheet. There's some other things down here that you, you could select but we're not going to bother with that right now. Now I want an intercept in my regression. I want to estimate a alpha zero from that equation. So I'm not going to check this box. If you check constant is zero, then that would be estimating regression without the intercept. Looks like everything is squared away, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Excel is going to think a little bit, then it's going to give you a new sheet like this. And I'm just going to show you something here. Excel is going to give you a lot of information, but right now the only thing that we're concerned about are these coefficients. And those coefficients are the value of alpha 0 and alpha 1. For instance, the, in, the intercept, alpha 0, is 87.42. The value of alpha 1 is 79.29. This means if we were developing, writing down our regression equation, we would say that distance 
equals 87.423 plus 79.291 times the male dummy variable plus such that if we were actually predicting hitting distances where we don't know the error, we would go predicted distance equals 87.423 plus 79.291 times male. And that's the equation that you would use to predict with. And that is how you do a regression in Excel.